Hey everyone. So while Paxson is napping, and as you just saw Adeline's napping, I figured I would give an update on you know, the first week postpartum and how I'm feeling and how I'm recovering and then kind of my essentials so it's fresh in my memory <laughs> of you know what I used the, the first week home from the hospital. So I'll start with the products and then I'll kind of tell you how I'm feeling and everything. Um, yes, so obviously at the hospital I used everything they gave me so I used you know their mesh underwear, their big pads, then their um, like their icicle pads that they have, um, the tux, um, like the witch hazel tux pads that they gave, gave me, and this hospital did not give me, like, the dermablast spray, which I did wish I had, because it, like, is cooling and numbing, um, but I did have that with Paxson, but this hospital, I don't know if they didn't have it, but they didn't give that to me. They did give me like a big bottle of witch hazel, which I didn't really end up using just because I was using, like I said, the, the tux pads and the like the frozen icicle pads. So I can't show you that because all that <laughs> has been used. Um, but then when I came home, and I kind of shared this because I even packed some of this in my hospital bag, but then when I came home, I used these these diapers um, at the beginning when the flow was very heavy um, just because I think it's more comfortable you know than a pad plus then you don't have to worry about like spillage <laughs> um, like leaking um, into your underwear or you know out of your pants or whatever um, so I've been wearing that and then switched over to these Poise pads they're like for bladder leakage so they like absorb a lot more um which those have been nice and then I have like thinner pads too that are still like more absorbent but thinner than like these massive bladder leakage <laughs> pads um that I've been using off and on I am currently back to this because my bleeding like slowed and then I picked back up but now I'm back to these just because I mean I'm sure the other ones would be fine but I just don't want to have you know any accidents because one we have a white bed and then our couch is light <laughs> and so I definitely don't want to have you know an accident um so that is what I've been using in regards to like postpartum recovery um at home and then in regards to just, you know, nursing and breastfeeding and things like that, what I've been using is, so I've been using the Target, the, like the nursing sleep bras, the Auden, I believe they're called. Um, I have one on right now, so it looks like that. Um, just because it's comfortable. And then I also have... And I can't show you any of these because they're they're all in the wash, um, and I currently have one in. But they're like washable nursing pads, so you can obviously buy disposable ones. But I kind of think that's a waste. So I have washable ones that I can just wash as they you know get dirty and kind of go through them quickly because I have a lot of milk, and right now as you know my body's adjusting. Um, whenever I'm nursing on one side I have a big letdown on the other and so I have those pads in I do have a haka but I ha I really haven't been using it just because honestly with Paxson when I use it like it would collect it but then sometimes it would like detach and then it would just spill everywhere and I, I just didn't feel like dealing with the mess so um plus I know now that I have Paxson you know if I have you know her on one boob and then the hawk hanging there I know he'd be like oh what's this and he'd yank it off anyways and then there'd be a big old mess so I don't do that um now what I do is I just have like a kitchen towel or like a like a big um like swaddle or something like a thick one that's like more absorbent and I kind of stick it in that bra so it like collects it just so I don't get my little disposal not get my little cotton um, washable nursing bra soaked immediately because otherwise I'd be going through them even more. I actually put an Amazon order in for more of those so that 
I don't run out that fast because I would literally have to do laundry every single day because um, I only have four, like four sets right now. And then I ordered more sleeping bras, but I actually ordered them from Amazon just because I would get them faster. So hopefully I like them as much as the ones from Target. But again, I only have four of those and it seems that like I at least have to use get a new one every single day. But really I should be switching it out just because they do just get milk all over them and wet. Um, but these shells, so I talked about these. So at the beginning, while your nipples are getting used to the breastfeeding and they're really sore, these shells are a lifesaver because it just kind of protects you, your nipple from rubbing against clothes because all that is very uncomfortable. So for me, luckily, my breasts have basically adjusted. So I only use these for, you know, the first couple of days. Um, and now clothing doesn't bother me anymore. So I really don't need them anymore. But you really do want them the first couple of days while you are adjusting. And then, ooh, <laughs> nipple cream. Um, put it on immediately. At the hospital, I kind of waited until they started hurting, which was my mistake. And I should have put it on after every single feed, even before it hurt, because I think it would have made things a lot easier. So I have the Earth Mama Organics, the organic the organic, I don't know if you can see it, the organic nipple butter. Um, and I guess I can show you a close-up of these Medela little cups. There's like holes up here, so like airflow, and then you just kind of put your nipple in here. Um, and it does kind of collect milk, but I will say, <laughs> um, you won't know because you don't feel wet and it collects in here but then when you like bend over to pick up your baby or you put your baby down then the milk runs out these holes and then you drip everywhere so I kind of made a mess the first couple of, day couple of days um, but that's basically postpartum wise what I've really been using and needing um, for me and then I'll um, probably post a video of like newborn things that to me are kind of essentials that have helped you know with her you know getting her settled or whatever just making life a little bit easier with a newborn um so now i'll talk to you guys about kind of how recovery has been so with paxton i had a second degree tear here i really don't know what degree tear it was i know with paxton i needed a bunch of stitches um here i don't really know so I didn't really give much information other than like my husband asked because he saw that they were like working down there and he was like so like did she tear a bunch and they said I tore a little and I just needed a stitch but I don't know really what that means like is it one stitch but it's still a second degree third degree first degree no idea um so I'll have to ask them whenever I have my postpartum just so I know how much it was I don't know if anyone else has run into this experience but I've now delivered obviously at two different hospitals and both of them, it's like they keep it a secret. Like, they don't tell you they're stitching you up. Um, and if you don't ask, they don't tell you anything, which I find kind of odd. Um, but it happened with both. With Paxton, I actually didn't even ask at the hospital. I ended up sending a message and was like, hey, <laughs> did I tear? How much? Um, and then here, like I said, my, with Adeline, my husband asked. But otherwise, it's odd. They don't say anything. So I'm curious if any of you guys have similar experience where you know they don't tell you um but yeah so obviously i tore less so it, i've been less sore so to speak down there i did oh i do want to add something you might want to get is like i have like a little donut pillow um that i've been sitting on just to make things a little bit more cushiony and comfortable so that i'm not you know sitting where it's sore um so obviously i tore less so in that aspect, you know, I'm less swollen and tender down there. Um, I actually, before I did this video, I was going through messages, um, like messages that I sent to a friend um, back when Paxton was born, because we both had babies a day apart. And I remember asking her like, hey, are you still bleeding? And I wanted to, when I sent that message, because I wanted to see, you know, how long after was I bleeding and was it heavy and I just want to see if there were any details. It didn't really happen too, too much. All I know is that I did bleed for, like, I know there was a message to her asking if she still was bleeding and had pain and it was, like, five weeks after I had given birth. So, I, so obviously, I'm not five weeks postpartum. I'm only a little over a week. Um, 
but I feel like I know it's normal to bleed, but I don't, they always say like if it gets heavier, um, which for me, it's, it like slowed down. So like on like day four, I remember being like, oh wow, like I have like no more bleeding anymore. I feel great. Um, other than like a little bit tender, like where the stitch is. And then it like kind of picked back up to, like I said, now I'm back to like the, the, the like bladder leakage poise. Um, or whatever, um, um, pads. So I wasn't sure if, you know, that was normal. Cause I know they say it should, you know, increase, but I guess it's fine to like go up and down as long as you're not like, you know, having massive blood clots or anything like that. So on that front, <laughs> still bleeding. Um, but you know, it's less, I feel more comfortable. Um, I do have pressure and things like that so sometimes my paranoia I always think like worst case scenario <laughs> so I'm like all paranoid that I have like a uterine or a um like a prolapse and sorry a Paxton's monitor is running out of battery so you gotta hear it so beeping but um so that's kind of the update and then belly is definitely still here. Um, it is shrinking a little bit. I don't know if you can see I'm wearing, I'm wearing Ari's boxers. Um, just because these are like his old boxers and they're just kind of comfortable. Um, so I have like my normal underwear and my poise pad in. And then I basically I'm just wearing his boxers as shorts. Um, but anyway, so yeah, here's my belly. Um, I don't know if you can see, but because it's, you know, kind of dark in here, but um, I did end up with some stretch marks around my belly button, and then I do obviously have some separation here, so I'll have a lot of um, working on my belly to do once I'm able to, like, really heal my abs again. Um, but that's kind of the update, so she's... <laughs> He's making noises um, but anyway so that's the update on what I've been using that first week and kind of how I've been recovering definitely a lot easier this time but definitely still sore still bleeding and still have you know a little bit of recovery left <laughs> um, but anyways so thanks for tuning in and I will check in with you guys soon like I said I'll have another update kind of as like how my postpartum journey goes and then um, share some things about Adeline and you know newborn essentials that we've been loving this time and things that we've reused from Paxton. So hopefully you found this video helpful and I will talk to you guys later.